What's up everybody, it's Roger here, FarmDizKingdom.com. I'm going to be doing a video review here of the Captain America action figure, the Marvel Toy Box. That is a Disney Store exclusive. You can find this online at ShopDisney.com, also DisneyStore.co.uk. You'll find links to the affiliates below. So let's have a look here, at, first off, at the packaging. You can see here, he's in his like, kind of like Civil War outfit, um, rather than um, the traditional one that we've seen from many years ago. But you can tell that because he's got the... the the helmet on and also kind of the backpack kind of esque clips on his shoulders he's also got um a shield included so this is aimed for um children age three and above so on the back here it says other ones included in the set include black panther and black widow and if you look like these that might have been seen before it's because they look very very similar because they have been used on disney infinity yeah the video game they have been using and the artwork from them on this box uh, on these characters so but this one has been changed a little bit he's not exactly like the same as the first figure and he's not really too much like the second figure that we saw in Disney Infinity because that one had his helmet off but now let's rip this one open and see what's inside okay so now we've got this one out of the packaging we can see what he looks like and as you can see here he does look very very good a very solid action figure pretty much in a nice but very heavily built lots of maneuverability so his head moves like that and you can move it all the way around so there's lots of maneuverability so that's pretty good and his arm goes all the way around now one thing they have done is they've kind of made his shoulder pads kind of a little bit more flexible so that makes it pretty cool so you can move it at the elbow you can also move it at the wrist you can do the same on the other side he can move at the waist, he can move at the hips, he can move at the knees, and he can move at the ankle. So loads and loads of positioning things, which I can assure you makes it a lot more fun when doing photographs. And also just playing with him, um, sort of moving around into different positions, because there's nothing worse than just a character that only has like one position. You can see here, zombie mode. Now one thing that is quickly, I mean, this, this, you can see with these elbow pad or these shoulder pads are a little bit annoying the way they've done it but also this shield it's um it's kind of it's clipped on like so and also what you can do is you can actually also attach it to his back like so it doesn't look as cool but you can attach it to his back so that's definitely a cool little um single so attention and I think that looks rather cool if that's not going to be the if that doesn't surprise me if that's going to be the thumbnail <laughs> um, so yeah it's a lot it's just a really cool figure uh, it's just a shame in some ways that that these shoulder pads are really getting annoying I can get that off and again we're going to put this one back on his arm so you can see here he's got like these he's got like a clip that you can put on this thing have really put a lot of attention into making sure that this figure is as good if you clip it a bit higher up it's a bit more sturdy so you can position him so he's actually defending himself like so which is pretty good um size wise very good very solid um a very good action figure um, i'm sure captain america fans are going to love this one is he kind of one of the better action figures this range was really should be probably checked out by a lot of um, people especially if you if their kids are going to play with them because the amount of articulation for this price is very very good you know when i compare it to some of the marvel and star wars action figures of the same price things like force link this has so much more maneuverability in it compared to them okay so let's have a look here and compare him to his disney infinity figure so this was one from 2.0 you can see there with the shield and he's got the helmet on and looks a little bit different to that one now you can see this one here being the first avengers one the one that we got with the marvel battlegrounds playset it's a little bit different a lot bigger i mean if you just compare them size to size there um, it's a lot bigger the actual suit and costume itself has not had too much of an upgrade very much based on that same design obviously they've done the difference with the head and uh they've also it's pretty much identical except for the fact that he's got this mask on and you can tell very much that that is the design of it but there we go so that's comparing it to disney infinity but let us know your thoughts on this be sure to hit that subscribe button and check us out over at thiskingdom.com and i shall see you guys soon but yeah pretty cool figure laters